Um, I knew Tommy Potts uh, very well when I lived in Dublin back in the 1970s. He was a neighbour of mine. I lived in Drimna on Erigal Road and Tommy was about half a mile away over in uh, Waterstown. And, uh, when I first heard his music, I was just amazed, you know. It took me a long time to get used to it and understand it. Um, but he was a very emotional man and very religious. And uh, I think his, his goal throughout most of his life was to try and get to heaven. So he, he was a very unusual man. He was described as one time as... Uh, uh, had uh, what they call psychic su suffering, you know, and he even said himself he suffered all his life. But um, I knew him just as a friend, and uh, he gave me some real, real tapes of his music, which I cherish, and uh, that's where I learned the rambling pitchfork. And later on, back in, I think it was 1989, I wrote a poem about him, you know, he, because he wrote to me from Ireland, and we sort of kept in touch, so. This poem is, uh, I just call it, Pots, thrown in amongst puzzled onlookers. He stroked and pulled and glided his bow, head bent in total reverence to his vision of the spirit. While listeners wondered about the strength of their prayers, his swollen eyes let loose the tears of the forgotten dead. And then the rhythm and the lift and the notes that broke the rules of conventional acceptance. And the humble loneliness of the crucified stranger leapt forth in freedom's ecstasy as thoughts bent lower and lower, caressing the sound of his unspeakable compassion. And the tune was a happy tune, all ready and naked upon the headland. But the gallant surprise of it all was the pleading that came again and again for those of us who listened closer when the soundpost trembled to the music of Tommy Potts.